What's up everyone, I'm Choa. Today, I'm going to analyze this game. Um, if you haven't watched this video, I recommend you watch it first. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so basically, the opening was right hand for Farouk versus Sir Farouk. Uh, by the way, I was white, but uh, the board will not be reversed. And we're just castling. So basically, this castle is called boat castle in general and this castle is called mino and move 21 okay first and foremost um go to 38 seems to be like have a balance on both sides but uh actually it was not real uh, a best move the reason is comparing to mino castle the boat castle is at it's a little bit uh, weaker than Mino Castle. Therefore, black and and if black's gold is in this position, um, black can't attack like drastically due to the safetyness. I mean, the safety of the castle. And the purpose of playing right hand for Farouk is that uh, is to attack. So therefore, go to three eight is kind of unbalanced. I mean, it's not consistent. I mean, consistent move and also go um i assume that black moves go to 3 8 due to the fact that white will move pawn to 3 5 and pawn to 3 6 at some point but it is it is unnecessary to be honest for example let's say um black moves silver to 5 6 instead of go to 3 8 and then pawn to 3 5 and go to 3 8 and at this point, pawn to 3-6 is not that threatening. For example, if pawn to 3-6, pawn takes, rook takes, go to 3-7. And it is, there's no problem for black. Or black can also move uh, pawn to 4-5 to attack. Um, either way... Um, Pawn to 3-6 is not that menacing. Therefore, when silver to 3-6, 5-6 uh, and pawn to 3-5 and go to 3-8. White will just move silver to 5-3, I mean 4-3. Black has gained more advantages comparing to uh, the main line. Because in, in the main line, um, white doesn't have to move pawn to 3-5 whereas in this variation white actually has to move pawn to 3-5 in other words when silver uh when sent uh when the black moves silver to 5-6 black actually wants white to move pawn to 3-5 that's why on move 21 Go to 3 8 was not the best move. Move 22. Um, pawn to 5 4 is a good move. The reason I decided to move this is that even if white moves pawn to 3 5, it's not that menacing. So therefore, I decided to move pawn to 5 4 and move uh, silver to 5 3 to prevent the attack from. Sent it. I mean, black to move silver to 5 6 and pawn to 4 5. Therefore, white has gained an advantage in this position. On move 30, silver takes 4 4 is questionable. I mean, or even bad move. Since white's king is safer than black's king, white or I should have taken this bishop by rook. In the main line, when silver to 4-4, four, four, I mean silver takes 4-4, four, four, there was a move which is bishop drop 3-1. And it is not good for white. If white had taken this by rook, white would have kept an advantage. For example, if rook takes 4-4, four, four, silver takes 4-4 four, four, and again, white king is safer than black king. Therefore, white is advantageous. If silver to 4-5, then rook to 
and there's no other moves for black. So it is advantageous for white too. The last option is pawn to 4-5, but just move rook to 4-2. And again, it is advantageous for white. Therefore, pawn drop 4-5 in the main line, pawn drop 4-5 is not good move. On move 32, silver to 5-5 five five is also questionable. The reason is, after takes takes, bishop drops 6-5 will be a good move or bishop drops 4-4 four four is another option. For example, after bishop drops 6-5, white, white's option is only rook to 2-2 two two, but then pawn to 4-4 four four and black is advantageous. Note that if black drops silver, drop, uh, silver to 3-1, then bishop drops 3-2 and it, became, it becomes more unclear. Uh, it becomes more unclear position so black has to be careful about it in the main line pawn drop 4 7 is also a questionable move the reason is black doesn't have to take this by rook but he can take this by gold if rook takes 4 6 then just pawn drop 4 uh, 4, 4 and then pawn drop 4 6 even even though white has gained an advantage it is, it is not easy to win for white. Therefore, instead of pawn drop 4-7, bishop drop 6-5 is better. If silver drop 4-3, then takes, 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 takes. And again, um, due to the fact that white king is safer than black king, white is advantageous. Also, instead of silver drop 4-3, if bishop drop 4 7 then takes takes and rook takes 4 4 and white is advantageous at this time the reason is black has no pawn to drop for uh in a 4 6 square that's why bishop drop 6 5 is better 3 2 was a losing move on move 43 bishop drop 4 uh, 3 2 was a losing move the reason is white succeeded in promoting his rook, promoting his rook. Therefore, black should have moved gold to 5-9. Then, if um, rook to 4-7 promote, rook to 2-8, pawn to 5-6, pawn takes, silver drop 3-9, rook to 1-8, go to 2-8. And even if it is disadvantageous for black, Black also has a lot of material, so there was a chance to win, or there was more opportunity to win. But on move 48, which is pawn drop 47, this pawn was questionable move. Instead, gold drop 88 was better. Then king takes, dragon takes 69, and black can't prevent both gold drops 7 8 and rook ta uh, dragon takes 5 8 on move 6 8 68 which is after taking a lot of material and which is um gold drop 6 7 uh silver drop 6 7 was better than uh king to 8 8 rook drop 7 8 uh king to 9 7 and Dragon takes 6-8 will be a threat mate. In summary, uh, the biggest thing we have to reflect is that is in the opening. We have to play the opening by thinking about the middle game, not by intuition. Specifically, for black on move 21, which is go to 3-8, and on move 38, which is uh, pawn drop 4-5, were points for improvement for white um silver takes 4 4 and silver to 5 5 were points for improvement all right that's it for today if you have any questions feel free to ask and if you like this video please like and subscribe also don't don't forget to comment below thanks for watching and see you again do you want to enhance your shogi skill join my 81 dojo club I started new things called game analysis. It looks like this. 
I guarantee that it helps you to become a better player. It's free, so feel free to join. For more information, check this video.